So, uh, today I have uh, this model, uh, some slight change from a casual build. It will be a um, Gundam H series GX Force, GX Force, which is uh, quite a good looking and awesome, cool mobile set design from Gundam H series. But again, Gundam H series, one of the, I think, one of the best storytelling series created by Sunrise and we have a cool designs as well not all designs are super cool but this one is a really something and it will probably be my uh, next project I will build but first off I decided to do some uh, small unboxing and of course lighting is not the best not the perfect but we uh, try to cover everything as best as possible so we have a dark dark gray part and we have a the one cool thing is this light blue tiny segment of part for a chin you will not often to see light blue chins and on the light gray plastic it looks really cool as well as the uh, eyes i believe someone should be a sticker Foil sticker for the eyes. We have a silver, uh, silver plastic for blade and hook, which we won't cover for now. We have a dark parts, the two two shades of uh, dark gray and slightly, slightly light gray, which of course are always a welcome because the color separation is very vital for our model kits at least modern model kits and we have a uh, i see some stickers uh, not something uh, very uh, horrible have to admit because stickers not so huge big or uh, something impossible to uh, paint it yourself which i will be doing I will probably add some parts here and there, but on a slight touch, I'm not planning to completely repaint this model because it already looks good. The plastic is is uh, really <clears throat> in a good color and uh, not so transparent at all because it's a dark plastic, of course. And we have a manual. We have this kind of uh, bird dwarf type pirate, which name I don't know. Everything wrote in Japanese. I really don't care about those uh, characters who don't get a lot of spotlight and don't do anything major in the series. But itself, a mobile suit was made from a G-axis, I think. G-axis, yeah. And modifications went in a good, good direction. So I really like it. I like it the Bandai decided to do a color separation for dark and light parts. And this is really uh, justify our look of the mobile suit. We have something from our Federation forces like H3. I don't remember actually the specification name of this one. Is that has a HVX? HVX. All right, HVX. And we have a leg 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 leg. Sorry, I built it uh, ages ago. I don't remember the name properly, but still. Here we have an epic poses of the G axis. I'm not missing anything. G C force. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. Can't be helped. Then we have a Gundam H2 SP version. That's one just a white ghost color scheme. We have a regular manual here, 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 here. Nothing special. And of course, final steps. Final steps on manual. So in overall, in overall, I think H Gundam designs are okay. Okay plus not all, but most of them which were already released are really looking good, looking great. And of course it would be nice to see something more uh, from the age based than uh, another self-proclaimed Gundam builder thing in a while.
which actually happened now. All right, so that much about unboxing. It took a little bit too much, about five minutes or so, and that will be on my next upcoming project. As usual, thank you for watching and stay safe.